Some effects in the Movavi video editor have the ability to speed up the process and really make videos better, and as a result, increase views. These effects do not lie on the surface and not everyone uses them, therefore watch the video to the end to learn how to make your videos better with a few simple effects. My name is Otto Weiner, this is the Movavi vlog, and let's go! The first effect I often use is an effect called Crop and Rotate, a very simple effect that allows you to crop a shot from all sides as well as rotate it. It sounds simple and clear, but this effect has several not-so-obvious applications. Let's start from the first one in order. Drop a shot onto the timeline, select it, and go to the All Tools section, then Video Editing and Crop and Rotate. In the preview window, you will see such a grid with circles that can be moved in different directions. Now we're interested in the upper and lower circles in the middle. Drag the lower one up a little and the upper one down a little, exactly up to the moment to make cinematic, as they call it, bars. Click apply and get the effect, but that's the most convenient. When you crop a shot, it may happen that you cut off someone's head or an important part of the shot. To fix this, click on a small star on the shot, clip properties will open where you will see the applied crop effect. Click on it and then the effect settings will open again. Now you can move this window up and down to change the position. That is a fairly flexible tool and you can always come back and quickly change something. And guys, if you like this video and in general the content that we make for you then click the like button it really helps the video to move further along the algorithms and as a result we make more useful videos for you so so let's move on i have three shots on the timeline on top of each other of the same duration and i want to have a triple split screen effect that is a shot on the left a shot in the center and a shot on the right in movavi this is very easy to do in all tools in the video editing section find the position section we are interested in trio left trio center and trio right with the top shot highlighted press trio left with the middle highlighted trio center and with the lower trio right now by clicking on each frame individually, you can immediately move them to the left or right in the preview window. That's how quickly we got the perfect triple split screen effect. And exclusively for subscribers of this channel, I want to remind you that Movavi Unlimited is available with a big discount on a secret Movavi sale at 85% off. Movavi Unlimited is the unique annual plan that includes the best from Movavi in one intuitive platform. There are tools for video editing like Movavi Video Editor Plus itself, photo retouching, touching screen recording apps and a set of utilities for work and study. On top of this, Movavi Unlimited gives you one year access to all the effects that the Movavi Effects Store has to offer, which means all the backgrounds, intros, filters, and of course, title templates are just within your reach. And you won't lose much time on learning. Every step of the creation process from converting raw footage to adding effects to your video project might be done in just a few clicks. Movavi Unlimited will help you create high quality content and make your idea come true. Unlike professional software, Movavi Unlimited is accessible for many users. Its annual subscription plan includes 10 programs and a huge collection of effects at the price of just one app. And the best thing is that you won't need a top-of-the-line computer to make the platform run smoothly. The one-year subscription to Movavi Unlimited is now available at 85% off on the exclusive Movavi sale. Hit the link below to use this or any other special offer from our secret page. In Movavi, there are two quick ways to do the Ken Burns effect, that is smooth zoom in or smooth zoom out. I will show you both and you decide for yourself what is more convenient for you. The first way is through animation in the Tools section. Go to the Advanced section and click Add Animation. Move one dot to the end, the other to the beginning and click, for example, on the second dot. Now stretch this frame in the preview window and you will get a smooth zoom in effect. You can also make a smooth zoom out or some slides from left to right or from top to bottom. The second way is to go to the pan and zoom section and select either zoom in or zoom out. Two windows will appear in the preview window where the central one is your final result when zooming in. When you zoom out, your end result will be the opposite. That is, on the one hand, the second option seems more convenient, but on the other, the first option is more flexible, so it depends on the situation and tasks. If you haven't used tracking in your videos before, then I advise you to start doing it, because it's really very useful. The first thing you can track is 
text. In the Movavi editor, open the section with text, choose the one you like best and drag it to the timeline. Change the design, the text itself, place it where you like it best and then pay attention to the motion tab. Here you have a choice of three types of tracking. Fast for static objects, detailed for moving objects and artificial intelligence as an alternative way of tracking. For this scene, just in case, I will choose the second type. But before we click track, place this rectangle in the preview window above the most contrasting area in the frame, because the tracker sticks to the most contrasting pixels in the frame. And now click track and wait for the process to complete. If you want to change the text after tracking, you can always do it by double clicking on the text itself. You can also track masks masks, poke into the highlight and conceal section, and several types and styles of masks will appear in front of you. There are only two types, a rectangle and an ellipse, and a few more styles. There is just black filling, smooth internal and external blurring, also pixelation, which is good for censoring some objects, and background darkening. I'm going to choose to darken the background now because I want to focus the viewer's attention on one object in the frame. Do not pay attention to how the mask looks yet go to the motion section and choose one of the tracking types as we did last time. After that go to the mask properties and already here you can change the intensity of the darkening as well as the blurring of the mask edges. The size of the mask can also be changed after tracking and what not everyone immediately notices you can create several masks at the same time. Just click on this plus button here and repeat the same process that we did before. Another cool and very useful effect is scene detection. It's not immediately obvious to everyone why this is necessary, but sometimes it's just a lifesaver. Also, in all tools, find the scene detection section and select the duration of the shortest shot. That is, if your video has a very fast cut, then set a smaller value. But usually, one second is enough. And click define scenes. So, what does this function do? It cuts the finished video into pieces, as if you just edited it. This can be useful if you have done some editing, you have deleted the project, but there is an intermediate render. You can throw the render here and the video is cut into pieces very quickly. Or if you have a task to re-edit someone else's video, also wildly useful. In short, take note because few people know the truth about this. Another powerful effect that few people immediately use is LUTs. LUTs stands for a lookup table. Without going into the exact calculations, this is the mathematical process of turning one palette of colors into another. And yes, you guessed right, people call it filters and almost every one of you does it now almost every day on a smartphone. But on a computer, it is often avoided because the process seems more complicated. If you use such files on a computer, they will work with almost any photo and video editing program. This is an upside, but the downside is that you cannot delve into the details and adjust the color to the smallest detail. For example, in the Movavi video editor, you can find several built-in LUTs from which you can add a certain style to the image. Here, by the way, the drama LUT creates a rich teal and orange style. If you want to edit this style, then go to the manual color correction and tweak the settings. In addition to the built-in LUTs, you can also upload your own to create exactly the style you need. And I told you in detail about LUTs in Movavi in this video, and about color correction in general, so feel free to click here. Do not forget to leave a like if this video was useful to you and see you in the next one.